Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Privatera, Medical Director of the Epilepsy Center at the University of Cincinnati Neuroscience Institute. I'm going to talk about what you can expect when you come to our Inpatient Epilepsy Monitoring Unit, or EMU, at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center. During your stay in the EMU, our goal is to record your seizures using a video camera and a continuous EEG so that we can better treat your seizure disorder. Why do you need to stay overnight? A traditional EEG, a recording of your brain waves, lasts only about half an hour. It gives us a snapshot of your brain's activity during that short recording period. This may not be enough to give us the information we need to treat your seizures. A continuous EEG recording over several days in the EMU will give us a better picture of your brain activity. It will also give us information about how your brain functions between seizures. This type of recording helps us in three ways. First, it verifies that the seizure episodes you are experiencing are epileptic. This is important because a loss of awareness or shaking can be caused by seizures that are not epileptic. Second, continuous EEG allows us to identify the precise type of seizures you are experiencing so that we can choose the medication that is most appropriate for you. And third, for people whose seizures do not respond to medication, and who are under evaluation for possible epilepsy surgery, your stay in the EMU enables us to precisely locate the part of the brain where the seizures originate. This, of course, is of critical importance. Hello, I'm Dr. Jennifer Cavett. I am a neurologist and epileptologist at the UC Epilepsy Center and one of the doctors who cares for patients in the EMU. After you arrive at the EMU, we'll help you settle in. You'll have a private room with a phone, cable TV, and DVD player. Feel free to bring along books, cards, puzzles, DVDs, and laptops, anything you can think of to help keep you occupied. Visitors are welcome during your stay, and children may come unless otherwise noted. One adult may stay with you overnight in your room. You'll notice that the side rails of your bed are padded. This is for your protection so that you don't injure yourself during a seizure. While you're in the hospital, you'll be under the care of an epileptologist, a doctor who is an epilepsy specialist. This doctor will see you daily. In addition, a resident doctor will see you on admission and do a physical and neurological examination. You'll be asked questions about your past medical history and your seizures, and you should bring your medical records with you if you can. If you cannot provide this information, please try to bring someone with you, a family member or friend who can provide a description of your typical seizures. As we prepare you for monitoring, EEG electrodes will be applied to your scalp. The electrodes also will be connected to the video EEG monitor. A video camera will record your physical activity, including your seizures. The video is important so that we can see exactly what happens during one of your seizures. Of course, to accomplish our goal of monitoring your seizures, we need to have you experience seizures in the epilepsy monitoring unit. To help you have a seizure, we typically decrease seizure medications on the day you are ad admitted. Your medications may be stopped completely over the next several days if seizures do not occur. For safety reasons, we do not normally reduce your medications prior to your arrival at the hospital. Please take your normal morning doses of seizure medications on the morning of your hospital admission. Sleep deprivation can also help you to have a seizure. You may be asked to stay up all night or most of the night without sleep or naps. The EEG technologist and or family members can help you stay awake. When the brain is very tired, it is more likely to have a seizure. When you have a seizure, an EEG technologist will enter the room and interact with you during and after the seizure to test your speech and awareness. Your nurse will also be alerted. These simple tests help us define the type of seizure you're having and where in the brain the seizure may be starting. In some cases, we will do a test called an ictal spect. During this procedure, a highly trained technologist will sit at your bedside and wait for a seizure to occur. When the EEG technologist identifies a seizure, the spect technologist will inject a small amount of a tracer compound into the bloodstream through an IV in your arm. This tracer is attracted to the part of your brain where the seizure activity begins. After a few hours, you will be taken to another part of the hospital for a spec scan of the seizure area. 
This test, which must be performed right at the time of the seizure, can give us important information about where in the brain the seizure originates. For example, in this image, we see the area of the brain where the seizure starts lighting up on the scan. In this case, it's the left temporal lobe. We will do everything we can to keep you comfortable in the EMU, but you will not be able to move around with complete freedom. If you move to sit in a different part of the room, the camera will be adjusted. You will need to tell our nurse if you wish to get up and use the bathroom. The EEG technologist or family member may also assist you. It is necessary for someone to be with you whenever you are out of bed. We realize this can become very frustrating for some of our patients. Each day, the epilepsy doctor will visit and update you on your progress. Ongoing information from your evaluation will be discussed and you'll be informed of what to expect next. Please feel free to ask any questions you have at this time. If family members would like to speak with an epilepsy doctor, you can ask family members to be present when the doctor makes rounds. You may wonder why your doctor sent you to the UC Epilepsy Center for these tests and not a hospital closer to your home. The video EEG equipment at the UC Epilepsy Center is highly specialized and not available at most hospitals. Our EEG technologists and nurses are experienced in caring for people with seizures. And our doctors have advanced training in EEG interpretation and epilepsy treatment. In fact, our EMU has provided advanced epilepsy evaluation for over 25 years. We thank you for choosing the Epilepsy Center at the UC Neuroscience Institute. It is a privilege to be part of your healthcare team, and we look forward to providing you with our advanced services in the Epilepsy Monitoring Unit. We are committed to providing you with excellent, compassionate diagnostic care that is focused on your individual needs. For more information, visit uchealth.com epilepsy.